Hey guys, Coach Tim, Coach Joe. Let's talk about some shoulder mobility and getting you in that good stable position for your lifts and also with help on the rig. So the first thing we're gonna do is have Joe show us some wall slides. Go ahead and have a seat. So what we're looking for here is a couple points of contact. Low back, shoulder blades, and then Joe's gonna raise her arms to 90 degrees. I'm also looking for her wrist to touch the wall and these elbows. From here, we're just gonna have her raise her hands as far as she can. She gets to that sticking point. Go ahead and hang out, take a couple deep breaths, and then lower back down. All right, so we're gonna use this as a test. The next four movements that we're gonna show you should improve this test, so what we'll measure, you can see these marks on the wall. Here's one person's where they started, and then you can see that they improved on the second one. So we're gonna have Joe go ahead and get down on all fours. She's gonna put one hand behind her head, and from here, she's gonna rotate this elbow down to her hand, and then up towards the ceiling. And she's gonna follow that elbow with her eyes. So do a couple on that side, and then we'll have her go ahead and switch and do the other side. Awesome. Make sure that you follow your elbow with your eyes, so you should be looking at the ceiling. All right, great. So now we're gonna do some tall windmills. Joe's gonna take off one of her shoes here. And she's gonna make a fist and hold that shoe on top of her fist. What I'm looking for is a nice, stable, strong position here. That shoe is directly overhead. Now she's going to take this hand and she's going to lower it down her thigh, inside that calf, and she's going to touch her ankle. Hold it there for just a second and then she's going to come right back up. Great. Go ahead and do a couple more. Here's the fault that we're looking for. So if Joe lets go of this shoulder and it starts to get out here and she tries to rotate, that shoe's going to fall off. So go ahead and do one on the other side for us. Good strong overhead position, stable, down. What we're doing is focusing on that shoulder stability and also improving that thoracic rotation. All right, great. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let her put her shoe back on. From here, we're gonna go through a series of four movements. The first one we're gonna do is called a T. So her arm's gonna go directly out to the side. She's gonna pause there and contract those shoulder blades down and back for just a second and then relax. Go ahead and do it again. Shoulder blades down and back, trying to put them in your back pockets, good. Yeah. Next one is called an eye, so she's gonna go directly out in front. Again, we're gonna pause, pull those shoulder blades down and back, and then relax, and again. Great. So the next one we're gonna do is a W. So Joe's gonna get in a good athletic position, knees are slightly bent, hips slightly hinged, from here, she's going to take those arms back into the shape of a W. Thumbs are down. She's also going to contract here. And then relax, and again. Good. Next one we're going to do is a Y. So again, she's going to be in that good, strong athletic position. This time, the hands are going to come out in front. Thumbs are down. And she's going to contract at the top, squeeze, and relax. Great. All right, the last one we're going to do is called the twisted cross. So go ahead and lay down and put your arms out at 90 degrees. So we're going to roll into this shoulder first. So Joe's going to push up with this arm and bend this arm so you can push a little farther. And she's going to push back and just hold. Let your head rest. I'm going to move this arm just a little bit up here so it's a good 90 degree angle. And she's just going to hang out here for about 15 to 30 seconds. What this will do is help open up the front of that shoulder and also open up that pec so we should get a little bit better range of motion on our shoulders. Go ahead and switch arms. And relax. All right, so from here we're going to go back to the wall. And what we should see is that Joe's range of motion on the wall slides has gotten better. So go ahead and get these points of contact. Again, we're looking lower back, shoulder blades, head, Go ahead and put your arms 90 degrees, elbows and wrists, and let's see if she's gotten better. You'll notice now that she's almost all the way overhead. And that's our shoulder mobility work for this month. <laughs>